How to add DC bias to a single power supply operational amplifier. In some circuits using single power supply operational amplifiers, the input signal may be an AC signal with both positive and negative components. If the input signal is directly connected to the operational amplifier circuit, the amplifier will only output positive voltage and not negative voltage, which cannot effectively process the signal. In this case, a DC bias voltage needs to be added to the operational amplifier to convert all input signals into positive voltages, allowing the single power supply operational amplifier to process the signal. Generally, the bias voltage is chosen as half of the operational amplifier's power supply voltage. When the input signal is on the operational amplifier's non-inverting input terminal, two equal resistors are used to form a voltage divider that generates a one-half VCC voltage on the operational amplifier's inverting input terminal. This voltage is the added bias voltage. After passing through the capacitor, the input signal will be elevated by one-half VCC, converting all input signals to positive voltages. The capacitor CIN serves as a coupling capacitor to isolate the input signal's DC voltage to avoid affecting the set bias voltage. The capacitor coot is used to filter out the DC bias voltage in the output signal, preventing the operational amplifier from amplifying the bias voltage. When analyzing only the bias voltage, the capacitor acts as an open circuit for DC voltage. As the bias voltage acts as the input signal, the operational amplifier acts as a voltage follower, so the bias voltage will not be amplified. The output voltage of this circuit is equal to 1 plus RF divided by R1 times VIN, thus achieving the amplification of AC signals by a single power supply operational amplifier. To obtain a stable bias voltage and reduce the influence of power supply ripple noise, a decoupling capacitor C2 is usually added to the bias voltage. At this time, RIN acts as the input resistance of the circuit. Similarly, when the input signal is on the operational amplifier's inverting input terminal, the bias voltage is added to the operational amplifier's non-inverting input terminal, and the output voltage is equal to negative RF divided by R1 times VIN, 